What is a computer? Do you honestly not know? Or is this a journalistic technique in which you feign ignorance in order to engage me in a conversation on a particular subject? <coughs> okay then. There are three things that constitute a computer. One. A computer processes data according to a sequence of automatic instructions. <coughs> yes, exactly. A program is a sequence of instructions that perform a task within a computer. <coughs> yes, toasters perform a task too, but they aren't computers because they only do one thing that can't be changed. <coughs> Burning the toast doesn't count. <coughs> no, Using a bagel is... it... Th that doesn't... <coughs> no. Wow. <coughs> no, you can't even put that in a toaster. <coughs> I think we're losing sight of the computer here. <coughs> well, it takes more than blue paint to make a computer. <coughs> that leads me to my second point. Programs must allow for conditions and loops. <coughs> Do not get me started on shampoo. A condition means the program will do something different depending on if a boolean is true or false. <coughs> what is a boolean truly? <coughs> or falsely? <coughs> alright, alright, no need to get snippy. <coughs> the other thing a program must be able to do is loop. Do you know what a loop is? <coughs> do you know what a loop is? <coughs> do you know what a loop is? <coughs> Do you know what a loop is? Oh, you get it. Well then, the last thing you need to know is that it isn't a computer if you can't change the program that it runs. Hey, what did you do that for? You were changing the program. That's not what I meant at all. I meant that you can tell a computer to do different things. Are you telling me what to do? I'm much more than a computer. I'm a robot. <laughs>